New tonight, a young girl spending her first night back home in more than a month after she was hit by stray bullets from a car to car gun battle. I was at home, I was getting in the shower, and then that's when everything happened. The injury paralyzed her, but she is making an amazing recovery and is back home early. KSHP 41's Grant Stevens visited her and her grandmother tonight to hear what's fueling her strength and progress. My feeling is coming back. Today's a big day for Lauren Reddick. I was excited when I heard that she was going to be released today. Mm -hmm. I was excited. I couldn't sleep last night. <laughs> I was had butterflies today. We caught up with her and Grandma Stancy Reddick. Well, we really don't call her Grandma. We call her Poo Poo. <laughs> so it's a long story. Hours after Lauren was finally brought home from Children's Mercy. Well, home is where the heart is. And there's no place like home. Lauren's recovery hasn't been easy. And there's still months more of therapy and healing. Lauren told me every week she spent in the hospital, she thought of school. She thought of her friends. Oh, and someone special. I have a crush at school that I want to go see. She says all those things motivated her, and progress is great. She was actually released days early. You're ready to get back to your life. Yeah. Yeah. So. But, I think, but I think my life is going to be different. It will be. And no matter how much you tell an 11 year old how good the outlook is, it's tough to see past today. And today, she still can't feel her legs. But there have been signs that Grandma's prayers are being answered, dormant nerves coming back. And she says, Grandma, your hands are cold. And I'm like, how do you know my hands are cold? So we're just hopeful that she will gain full movement from the waist down. Grandma Stancy's faith was a big motivator for her. One prayer has already been answered. Her being able to come home before Christmas, and that was my prayer. One more to go. She will walk again. She will run again. Grant Stevens, KSHB 41 News.